actually very 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 nice to read and they were good rc right there were couple about language restoration one about basically about liberal arts degrees and um, language preservation the other one language based was related to ai where we were talking about how ai generating more ai generating languages can actually hamper the civilization and culture that was another rc i think the easiest rc was the chinese liter rc which i found it towards the end uh, it was actually very doable rc and i'm forgetting the fourth rc but i think all the four rcs were, and yes the fourth rc was about space restoration and um oh yeah space restoration and how to like the debate about whether to keep space clean or not right one very interesting thing about the rcs were all of them were not diplomatic all, all of the rcs had certain viewpoints they were clearly distinguishable there was no ambiguity in the rc right um you could clearly understand what the author is trying to say which makes answering the questions much 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 easier right so all the four rcs were very fun to read now coming to the para insertion there were three para insertion and again all the three para insertions were actually nice and they were not on like philosophical or like sociological topics which make it very hard to read i think one very famous nepal girl um, para insertion was there couple of other ones somalia drop was there I'm forgetting the other para insertion but all three very fun right out of context i found it slightly harder and not very good at out of context and it's similar with para summary right para summary my three para summary questions that i attempted so before right off the bat the pattern stayed the same for all three slots i'm guessing three para summaries three um just the para insertions and two out of context right now the para summaries two of them were again uh, easy to read and they were doable one was about trad life one was which was very fun because it was basically social media culture and the other one i'm forgetting but there was this one question which i did not attend which was um uh, lyricist poetry in marxist society which i had like two minutes left and it was just too much of ideological thing so i didn't even bother so the vrc section was doable it would take a certain amount of effort right mental you would be mentally strained at the end of the vrc section but it's certainly good now coming to dilr this was the weirdest dilr section that i have ever seen right when i say weird i mean by difficulty level like usually you go into dilr section expecting to get through to your notes Right, because the sets are weird, you're not able to understand. Right, this section, if you have the lack of identifying which sets are easy, right, you can go straight to the last set that was last set for me, which was the OTT subscription of Elders and Kids. That set was probably the most trivial LRDI set I have ever done. That was very easy. Right, I think everyone should have done that. That was a very, very, very trivial set. Right, this also means what I'm also trying to say is. uh the cut off for lrdi is definitely going to be more than one set 100% is going to be more than one right because there is at least in slot 3 slot 3 might get scaled down i have actually not spoken to people from slot 1 and slot 2 about how difficult the lrdi was i wanted to focus as much as possible on slot 3 right i just knew that i just knew the pattern change where there were three sets of four questions each and two sets of five questions each right the one the first four questions said which was okay each question very easy very doable i don't know if slot 2 and slot 3 also had similar kind of uh similar kind of difficulty level uh right now coming to the other set right other di set there was one table about country and gdp which was also slightly on the doable side it did require a fair amount of calculation and we did have to like use the calculator quite a bit at a 0.2% so you have a 0.2% we have to 1.002 over and over again right so also on the doable side but then if you are disciplined with your calculation and you are sure about the values that you're using it should be good now coming to the third dil set which was again a four question set which was the nutrition one and that was the last that i attempted because i didn't have time and so i think guys i'm not fully sure about how correct that is but if i had a little more time i could be sure with a 100% certainty that this was correct right so what i'm going to say is there were definitely three global lrds set right stack up will certainly be higher than the usual 15 16 like there were very three global lrds set people should have been able to do it it's actually very weird it's very unlike that about uh, for keeping lrdi this way because lrdi is usually the filtering section where people usually fail to clear the cut off people don't know what is happening but this lrdi section was actually very much on the easier side honestly i'll even go as far to say that lrdi section was 
uh, so much on the issue itself, people might actually take it for granted, might have gotten overconfident in the middle of the session. Because LRDI was certainly on the easier side. There were definitely three doable steps. Anyone who has practiced for like three to four months rigorously, you could do three steps. Now, coming to one, I'm not sure. I'm not talking to people from slot two and slot three, slot one and slot two. But I think quant was definitely not that easy. Right? It was definitely not as difficult as Cat 2023. Let me be clear. It was definitely not as difficult as Cat 2023. Right? Your scores will rise in every single section compared to Cat 2023, including quant and actually especially quant. Quant was not that difficult. But that being said, it was certainly not the easiest section as well, in my opinion. My opinion might be wrong, it, uh, people might disagree, but I think it was not the easiest thing. Uh, people uh, could have done 13 to 14 questions with a lot of discipline, a lot of discipline calculation. Right? Uh, you would have to be quick to get 15, 16 questions done. But I'm sure people would have done 15, 16 or even 20 questions. But a regular person looking at a 99 percentile or a 99.5 percentile, right, I think they would be able to do 12 to 13 questions right, at a decent accuracy. So it was definitely not the easiest section. It was not very difficult also. I think it was moderate. Uh, and there were some questions which were slightly harder. Right? Uh, so I'm going to put one section as, on the moderate end. Right. Well, actually, I'm also eager to see what, let's say, Sally Imam and Marcy Sir have to say at 8 o'clock when they do their stream. So I'm also very curious about uh, what um, their opinion about the chat 2024 font is throughout the three slots. Because um, we were kind of accustomed to getting a harder font paper throughout our mocks and even this, um, right? So even crack who mocks, all the font section was slightly on the harder side. This was definitely slightly easier, but not very easy as well. It and there was quite a bit of arithmetic algebra was there. There was number systems. There was one very trivial number system question which just required remainder. I think it was doable. I think people would have done well. Uh, we should definitely see marks scoring through for each section very high. I think it was a doable paper, especially compared to CAT 2023. I think it was much very doable. I personally expected the paper to be harder than CAT 2023, but looks like it, I think in a way it was because by making it easier, more people will do Thank you very much.